Hello there. Welcome back to Exo Island. How about my shape in here? It is very important you understand that a pivot table is only as strong as the data behind it. That is why in this video, I want to show you 5 important tips to take note in your structured data before you begin your data analysis with Excel. So let's take a short break and jump right back into it. Hi there, welcome back from the short break. So as I was saying earlier, a good structured data should be rectangular with variables as columns and observations as rows. A good source data is also free of unnecessary formatting, so formatting like number types, font styles, cell fields, and so on won't work well with the pivot table. Best practice is to keep things simple and clean on the back end of the source data. So a good source data also should only contain dimensions and measures. So think of dimensions as categorical fields and measures as numerical fields. Don't add any additional header or footer rows. Finally, your source data should not contain any subtotal rows or calculated fields because pivot tables are designed to do all that for you in a more accurate precise way. Also, on the other end, a bad structured data could be transposed in variables as rows, observations as columns. It can contain unnecessary formatting, contain calculated fields, confusing column header names and extra header rows. The most important thing is to keep your data source structure simple and clean. So there you have it, how to structure your data before analysis. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button with the notification bell to know when I drop new content. See you in my next video.